Navigating Import Procedures for Freshwater Fishing Gear Hello, fellow importers and fishing enthusiasts. Today, we will delve into the USA import regulations specifically related to fishing reels and fishing lines for freshwater fishing. As a customs broker in the fishing industry, it is crucial to understand and comply with these regulations to ensure a smooth and successful import process. The Role of Customs Brokers Customs brokers play a vital role in international trade by facilitating the movement of goods across borders. They act as intermediaries between importers and customs authorities, ensuring compliance with various regulations and requirements related to importing fishing reels and fishing lines. Customs Bond Requirements Importers are required to obtain a customs bond to guarantee payment of duties, taxes, fines, and penalties related to their imports. Customs brokers assist in arranging and securing customs bonds on behalf of importers, enabling a seamless integration into the import process. Importer Security Filing ISF. The Importer Security Filing ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule, requires importers to provide specific information about their shipments to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, before the cargo departs. Customs brokers ensure accurate and timely submission of the ISF to comply with this regulatory requirement. Harmonized Tariff Schedule HTS, Classification Accurate classification of fishing reels and fishing lines under the Harmonized Tariff Schedule HTS, is essential for determining the appropriate duty rates and restrictions for importation. Customs brokers possess the expertise to identify the correct HTS codes, reducing the risk of errors and ensuring compliance. Fish and Wildlife Service FWS, Regulations Importing fishing reels and fishing lines may require compliance with the regulations of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service FWS. These regulations aim to protect and conserve fish populations and their habitats. Customs brokers assist importers in navigating the FWS requirements and obtaining the necessary permits, certifications, or declarations. Food and Drug Administration FDA, regulations. Certain fishing lines made from gel-spun polyethylene may be subject to regulations by the Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Customs brokers can help importers understand and comply with FDA requirements, ensuring the importation of safe and compliant products. Product Safety Standards Imported fishing reels and fishing lines must meet product safety standards to protect consumers. Customs brokers can assist importers in ensuring compliance with relevant safety regulations, such as those set by the Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, or industry-specific standards. Labeling requirements. Proper labeling of fishing reels and fishing lines is vital for consumer safety and compliance with regulations. Customs brokers help importers understand and comply with labeling requirements, such as providing accurate product information, warnings, and country of origin labeling. Intellectual property rights protection. Protecting intellectual property rights is crucial in the fishing industry to prevent the importation of counterfeit or infringing products. Customs brokers implement strategies to identify and prevent the importation of counterfeit fishing reels and fishing lines, ensuring that genuine products are safeguarded. Anti-dumping and countervailing duties. Fishing reels and fishing lines imported from certain countries may be subject to anti-dumping or countervailing duties. Customs brokers assist importers in understanding and complying with these additional duties, ensuring accurate calculations and timely payments. Country of Origin Verification 
Verifying the country of origin of imported fishing reels and fishing lines is essential to determine the applicable duty rates and benefits under trade agreements. Customs brokers assist importers in obtaining and validating the necessary documentation to establish the origin of the imported goods. Transport and Logistics Customs brokers also play a role in coordinating the transport and logistics associated with importing fishing reels and fishing lines. They collaborate with shipping companies, freight forwarders, and other relevant parties to ensure timely and efficient transport, while complying with customs regulations and requirements. Temporary Imports and Carnets in some cases, fishing reels and fishing lines may be temporarily imported for exhibitions, competitions, or other purposes. Customs brokers can help importers navigate the process of temporary importation using carnets, facilitating smooth customs procedures and ensuring compliance with regulations. Ever-changing trade regulations the fishing industry is subject to ever-changing trade regulations and agreements. Customs brokers stay up to date with the latest developments and regulatory changes, ensuring importers remain compliant and benefit from any new trade opportunities or preferential treatment. Trade Compliance Audits Customs brokers assist importers in preparing for trade compliance audits, which aim to ensure adherence to customs regulations and identify any potential areas of non-compliance. By conducting internal audits and implementing necessary corrective measures, importers can minimize risks and maintain compliance. Free Trade Agreements The United States has several free trade agreements, FTAs, in place, which may provide import duty reductions or eliminations for fishing reels and fishing lines. Customs brokers can help importers determine eligibility for FTAs and ensure proper documentation and compliance with rules of origin. Record keeping and documentation. Accurate record keeping and documentation are crucial in customs brokerage. Customs brokers assist importers in creating and organizing the necessary import documents and records, such as commercial invoices, packing lists, bills of lading, and customs declarations, ensuring compliance and facilitating future reference. Handling Customs Examinations Customs examinations may be conducted to verify compliance with regulations for imported fishing reels and fishing lines. Customs brokers possess the knowledge and expertise to handle these examinations efficiently, minimizing disruptions to the import process and ensuring compliance. Prohibited and restricted goods. Certain fishing reels or fishing lines may be subject to restrictions or bans due to environmental concerns or endangered species protection. Customs brokers help importers navigate the regulations surrounding prohibited or restricted goods, ensuring compliance and avoiding potential penalties. Continuous Education and Professional Development Customs brokers continuously invest in their professional development to stay abreast of the latest regulatory changes and industry trends. By staying informed and up-to-date, customs brokers can provide importers in the fishing industry with the most accurate and reliable guidance and support. Thank you for joining us in exploring the USA import regulations for fishing reels and fishing lines for freshwater fishing. We hope this information has been enlightening and valuable for importers in the fishing industry. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we will continue to delve into various topics related to customs brokerage, compliance, and international trade. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay informed and updated with the latest insights. Thank you, and see you soon!